Hey y'all, what's going on? So y'all already know what time it is. It's time for True Blood. I got my bloody bunnies on. Let's make it do what it do. Now y'all, last night's episode was everything. And I know that I'm late because I watched uh, BET, um, the uh, BET Awards or whatever, which... Okay, let's move forward. Okay, what do we want to go into, y'all? So much went on in this episode. I was digging this episode, and I was kind of like, slow down, pump the brakes, don't do too damn much. Okay, let's start with... Mm, let's start with Lafayette and Sam a lot, knocked out and shit, and the kids is in there, and they didn't, you know, they helped them in and pulled them in or whatever, so... Lala is like, honey, that wolf bitch, she she can, you know, she hit me, you know, really, really hard or whatever. Sam is looking, he realizes the baby's gone. They there saying, you know, they got it on camera. Oh, girl apologized to him leaving. And, and Lala's like, Sam's like, I got to go see, you know, what's going on. I got to go or whatever. And Lala's like, okay, what's the plan? I'm going. And he's, you know, telling him, well, now nah, you shouldn't or whatever. I got this or however, whatever, honey. He is already in it. And you don't know if you, you might need him to channel some kind of ghost horse or something. Now, he done got his ass kicked and babysitted the wolf and everything, the little wolf shape shifting puppet. Shit, now, I'm going to need you to sit down, Sam. Anyway, so Sam runs out. You know, he's going to go and see where they at or whatever. Okay, so moving on along. Now I want to go to, for a brief moment. Now we know on the last episode that Eric's ass, he done went up there and glamoured the shit out of the damn Murr's daughter. She done took them damn, you know, her shit out of her eyes. And he's like, I'm going to kill you, but you're going to be quiet and... She was like, don't kill me. Now, why wasn't she glamour? Did the bitch have some two pair on? Because she seemed to be going with this shit. She was like, no, nah, don't kill me. I know what the hell they're doing with your tree blood and what they're doing and why they're doing this and why they got him at. Bitch, now, did you want him to take you captive? Because she was all but, yeah, you know, just bam, you know, like, bitch, come on. Uh-uh, I'm not going to be able to do you. So, Eric's like, okay, so Eric then took her back to the damn Fantasia, which Pam is in there, and y'all, and Pam has come back to herself, because Pam's like, who the fuck is that? That's the first motherfucking thing Pam say, so Pam, girl, you better get back to your shit, because she damn near ready to say, I will fuck, eat, and kill you, and in that order, I kill, fucking eat, you. however, anyway, he says, this is the Murr's daughter. Tara's like, oh, hell no. Yes, she's a vampire, but she's truly a sister. Because she's like, hell no. We really get ready to be dead. Fuck this motherfucking Applejack stand. I'm out of her. Where's the fucking son, honey? I'm ready to end this shit. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Anywho. So, and y'all, if y'all see stuff back, I told y'all that much love is moving. Anywho, so, okay, Eric's like, we gonna do this, and she going with us, and, and Pam's like, get rid of this bitch, like, we got too much going on, plus Pam is all locked in the fact that her damn, the bar's gone, Eric's like, it's just a fucking bar, it's gone, get the fuck over it, let's figure out, you know what I mean, like, he's trying to order Pam around, but honey, you released her. Now, Pam, if you don't like the way things is going, honey, you get your motherfucking pink LeMay ass motherfucking Tiffany's coffin and you get Tara's motherfucking dusty piece of wood you got all sleeping in and your motherfucking teeth and your, your vampire toothbrush and drawers and get the buck up out of bone tone. What else am I going to say? Now, girl, you either with it or you ain't. Now, I'm going to need you to fight back in this. Tara, I'm going to need you to figure some shit out. Just because you've been shot with a motherfucking ultraviolet bullet, bitch, you giving up? <laughs> he gets on my nerves, y'all. Why is he doing that? <laughs> Anywho, 
So, okay, so they decided they're going to go to apparently what used to be one of Eric's whores because she comes to the door in her motherfucking drawers. And I have never got so much front coochie in my life in a movie. Like, this bitch is in, you know, she's like, oh, did you come? You know, Eric's at the door, invite me in. She's like, eh. You know, and I'm like, what the fuck? Is that all they do in Bone Tong to screw? That bitch might as well open that door with her coochie. I'm, I'm serious, because... I, clearly she wanted her hip to dip it done so she invites Eric in thinking it's just Eric uh uh here come Eric with the Mars daughter and Pam hits the door like invite me in honey now that might have been the last bitch you wanted to invite in cause she feeling some kind of motherfucking what so she invites her in here come tell everybody me in now everybody's there. Eric is trying to come up with his new shit, what he's going to do. He tells them, Eric, like, really? This is your motherfucking plan. How you going to have enough nerve to tell them they need to go sleep under the house? I'm going to take your coffin. And with that being said, why is this human bitch got a motherfucking coffin? And why does this bitch have a coffin big enough for two? Like, I'm trying to understand what these bone tongue hoes like. He's, meanwhile, now I told y'all that that damn daughter, she was into that shit. Because he's looking and she's rubbing razors and at some point he's bleeding because he ain't had no sleep. Y'all know how to do. She gonna try to lick him and he's like, not that way. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, bitch, you licking blood? He got you in her right to kill you. You a motherfucking bank, bitch. Child, if I was you, I would be trying to whittle a motherfucking steak out of a piece of that damn coffin and he'd be a dead bitch come morning. I'm going to tell you, I, he would be a dead bitch come morning. You need to know that. Now, if you want to fucking ride him before you kill him so much, whatever, whatever you do, bitch. You know, I mean, I guess if you could do it after you kill him because he's already dead, so bitch, if you into that. I'm just saying, uh, you know, if he had wood before he went to sleep, bitch, it's forever. Anywho. So, off of that, Eric and her sitting in there, you know, and the whole bit. Okay. Um, Let's switch over for a minute because I need to go to Andy because by now his little fairitress, his fair, fairy babies, are ready for middle school. They went to bed in, in kindergarten and they woke up in the sixth grade. I don't know, honey. And why was, I thought there was a little boy. It's for a little girl. So he's in there. Old girl who he used to fuck with, who had the fucked up ass children. She's there trying to figure out what to do about the vampire. She's scared to death. He want to drive her, take her somewhere or whatever. He's trying to get back with her. Now, uh, honey, Andy. Now, first of all, you the one out of fuck the bitch in the forest that you didn't know about. Then the bitch turned out to be a fairy. Then the bitch came to Merlot and plopped up on the motherfucking table where people eat their food at and had four motherfucking fairyettes. And now you want her to just accept that shit? I don't think so, but she goes with him. He's teaching her how to shoot bullets, wooden bullets. Meanwhile, the kids decide, well, this bitch ain't shooting them right, so I'm going to hit it off with some motherfucking light. Boosh. I told y'all, I think they're going to help in some kind of way. I'm telling you. But we're going to get to that. Okay. Moving on along. <clears throat> I'm not going to that because, y'all, every time I think about this scene, I laugh. Okay. What are we going to now? In the midst of that, the granddaddy is running around with Sookie and y'all know old dude that left and the one that she walked off and said, go two bushes over and one tree back. You know, he's gone and he was going to that little place where the fairies dance and shit. So granddaddy goes and goes in there and it's fairy motherfucking blood and carcasses and draws and shit every motherfucking where, where Warlow and one in there killed every motherfucker in there besides one. That was laying on the floor. Now, granddaddy then took his light and went over blood and shit and realized what the hell happened to him. And he sees the one over in the corner. He's like, don't talk. Let's just do mines. 
He says, I don't know what kind of vampire this is, this and that and other. So granddaddy said, I'm sending you back home. Next thing you know, he was fairy fucking dust. Just clearly fairy dust, okay? Because I wanted to sweep his ass up. Put him in a bag, honey, or something. Anywho, so granddaddy leaves and sprinkles real quick because he apparently can go into this burst of light then next thing you know he's where he's at so he moves kind of like the damn vampires okay about this time let's ease back to Suki and Jason and what the hell is going on with Jason because he apparently is having headaches and shit and something something to happen to him or either that happened after Warlow tried to come to the house and Jason heard it and went out there or some shit like that and he got hit with the light. Uh, the granddaddy then brought the fairy back, the one that took and said go two trees back. And y'all, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is he and I know he has something to do with this. The bottom line, he got something to do with what's going on with this Warlow shit. Meanwhile, Sook is like, why in the hell you here? She's having a motherfucking fit. You know, she's being unhospitable and this and that and other. And granddaddy's like, listen, we got to, you know, he's worried about where Wallow is and let's don't leave Sookie. Okay. Now, before that happened, and I have to ease back because I done got a little bit ahead of myself. Before that happened, now, y'all have to tell y'all that Bill done walked his happy motherfucking ass to the house because he want her blood. Now, before that happened, apparently, since he thinks he's had a conversation with Lilith, he think his ass can go out in the sun and ain't gonna sh shit ain't gonna happen to him. Jessica sees him out there as he's getting ready. Son's great come up and she tries to get him to come in and he's like, "No, I'm the prophet. Ain't nothing gonna happen. I can stand out here when the sun come up." Well, guess what, bitch? The motherfucking sun came up and you look like a lit motherfucking match. <laughs> That motherfucker burst in the flames like somebody was hitting him with gasoline over her and a flame throw over her and just hitting him with it. So Jessica had to throw his motherfucker smoking ass in the room and throw one of them old ass cathedral ass rugs on his ass because apparently your bitch ass is not the prophet. <laughs> what is wrong with you? He's not the motherfucker. He's like, yo, he was like, I am. I can't go. <laughs> that motherfucker went out there and stood in the motherfucking sun like he was on some acid or some shit. I don't know what the hell Bill seen. He was just like, huh? Boosh. <laughs> Woo, that's what your motherfucking Lilith's ass get. Since you the motherfucking prophet. Prophet is a fire. The fuck you the prophet of. Really? <laughs> he, he said. <laughs> he said he lit up like he said. Flame on off of the Fantastic Four. That motherfucker was a struck match. <laughs> as soon as that song came up. All you heard was. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, Bill, your ass was smoking, honey. Okay, anywho, <laughs> Jessica goes whoosh, pulls him in, why he's on fire. Jessica, bitch, that was your time to run. I bet he done burnt up at that motherfucker. And the next time Pam and Eric see you, bitch, they gonna give you the truth there because you could have end Bill. Bitch damn shit. Anywho, so <laughs> I guess he regenerates and gets under dirt. And all of a sudden still got the same motherfucking jacket. Did that motherfucker burn up? <laughs> I can't. Okay. So, okay. Moving on along. Let's go back to Eric. Now, the man knows that Eric got the daughter. Now, Eric just said his phone's untraceable and shit, but the motherfucker is traceable. What you up to? Because you're not keeping everybody abreast, Eric. Anywho, so they on the phone. He's like, I ain't going to kill her. So-and-so, this and that and other. He wants to hurt her. And it just, you know, Eric's like, okay, since you said that, okay, we got a truth. I'm going to go get her. 
He goes to go get her. Now, Tara's motherfucking ass then put tape over her mouth before that and then took this bitch out the window some motherfucking word as if Pam and Eric can't run her motherfucking brand new vampire ass down. Like, Tara, bitch, please. You know you a vamp pup. What the hell? Girl, I'm not going to be a do it, honey. Anywho. So they got to run out there and get hung. Y'all know I'm all over the place. Okay, now let's go back to Sam and um those kids. Okay, so the kids then rolled up with they shit and they think they going to ride their ass. Wait a minute. Before I go to that, honey, let me go to this because I told y'all I didn't like that wolf bitch, Joe. Yeah, I'll see. Anywho. So they sitting there, here come the police, and this and that another. They want to see the grandmama. They done lied and said she got emphysema. The baby's in there, and they want, Joe said we need her to shift. She's not going to do it. So they didn't tell the police when she got emphysema. The police was like, we want to go in there. <laughs> you are ignorant. We want to go in there, this and that, nothing. He's like, do you have a warrant? He's like, we ain't got to have none since the mayor set up the new shit. Fuck all you motherfucking abnormal motherfuckers. Okay, so old girl runs in there and said, well, I'm going to go get her. Okay, and the whole thing with the warrant was when they wanted to come in. So this mean wolf bitch, she going to growl and say, you going to shift. Bitch, who the fuck you think you are? Like, Al C is the pack leader, bitch. I, I'm not feeling you. You know I already don't like you, bitch, because you done rolled around and romped and threw your motherfucking tail up in front of Joe. You and that other bitch. So don't... Wait. Let's see. <clears throat> bitch, be, wolf be gone, spray. Bitch, I'm gonna spray you. That's it. Because I'm tired of you and you had nerve to show your ass and then scared, scared the motherfucking fur on that baby. Like she, when they go in, Joe don't know what's going to happen and the poor baby's a wolf puff and she rubbing on shit. And if the grandmother knew what you was doing to her, she'd clean your motherfucking cookie. So the grandmother, y'all, just to kind of go back, she goes out there plays like she got a cough. That's when they say they want to come in and they come in and see her as a, as a puppy and you know, say we sorry, this and that and other. Now, let's move forward into the night. And the kids that's got the camera and shit, they just going to ride up and want to talk to the wolves. Really? You just going to roll your human ass flesh, blood and all, knowing that they like blood and flesh. Driving and shit, and y'all gonna be nice and be like, listen, we are part of the supernatural coalition of puppies and dogs and shape chips, and we're here for you. <sighs> well, y'all, that shit didn't go well. I thought for sure they was gonna let Joe was gonna let them get back in the car. So here comes Wolf Bitch again, jumping the gun, you flesh hungry whore. This bitch going to rip her shit off and just boom, just change. And then after she do that, the rest of them want to change and shit. They didn't attack the people. The girl that used to play in Eve Bayou, which is the young uh, black girl, she's running. And the bitch would have been ate up. Now, your friends, they got ate up. They they just did. Because could nobody be divorced the reason that motherfucker got? Because if I was in that motherfucker, I'd have been like, bitch, if we going anything shy, I'm going to get a burger. I'm going to bust you in your motherfucking face. What you mean we going to go talk to these motherfucking wolves? Really? Anywho. So, Joe, he goes and protects old girl. Well, he comes late because old girl gets bit on the leg. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I know y'all seen that owl earlier, which I should have mentioned that the owl was kind of sitting there and I knew it was significant. Turns out that it is Sam. So, he's up there. He's a motherfucking who the owl. He didn't change and came in and went to go get the baby and shit. He sees old girl back up running. He's like, I got to go help her. The baby's like, come the fuck on. You know what I mean? Like, shit, I got sense enough to know these motherfucking wolves will eat your horse and go lucky ass up. So they run after her. Now, off of them. And I see, get your motherfucking pack together because this wolf bitch, she is not the team. And I will come and spray her. Let me. 
true blood writers, I need y'all to write in something with Wolf Be Gone Spray. Yes, thank you. Because I will come and spray that bitch. Shh. Anywho. Mm-hmm. So, okay, we offer of that. Now, let's go back to where Jason fell out and they thought it was Warlow coming and uh, come to find out it was somebody else. Sookie was inside the house and no, I can't go to that. Let me go back. I said Bill went to the house. Bill wanted Sookie's blood. Sookie ain't going to give it. She done threw plates. He done stopped it, this and that and other. He's like, I'm going to take your blood with or without you. I don't, you know, and early on he said, I don't need no invitation to come in because he's different now. He go by different rules. Well, bitch, one rules for motherfucking sure that you still going back, bitch. You burn come daylight. How about that with your cook motherfucker skin? Anywho. Okay. So they have words or whatever. Now back to where um, the whole Warlow scene. Now in between that, after sucking and being rude to old dude and she realized that Old dude comes in the kitchen while she's cleaning up because she just said, I got to go. I got to clean something. She, you know, irritated. He comes in there trying to help. She want to know, like she been want to know, why can't I sense you and this and that and other girl? Because there's something motherfucking wrong with him. Mm -hmm. And he got something to do with Warlow. Mm -hmm. That's what he got something to do with. Okay, so now we got whatever was out there. Sookie's upstairs by now. Grandpa, what is wrong with your motherfucking Wall Warlow, uh, uh, Amita, bitch? You done thought everybody was him. Can we get the real Warlow to stand up, please? Anywho, they run out, come to find out it's some other vampire who's looking for Warlow. Meanwhile, Sook is screaming because Jason's hitting the floor. Now, what made Jason sick, y'all? That's why I'm trying to figure out why is he so fucking sick. He done fell out and shit, head, head hurting and shit. It might have something to do with them motherfucking gutter butt ass family members that they was talking about earlier. Him and Sookie and how he see visions. And Sookie's like, well, whatever wrong they did, we have to get over whatever hell. Okay. With all that being said, the tail end of it ends with Andy driving for me. Ends with Andy driving. Bill Grant walked into the motherfucking uh, cemetery because by now he didn't realize he better be in there by at least 30 minutes to sunlight. Okay? Andy stops and says, Bill, you know, we got this new thing. You know I don't believe in that, but he's like, I want to talk to Sookie. I'm going back now. Meanwhile, they kind of talking and he says, you know, they, you know, talking, chatting it up or whatever. Bill looks over and he smells something. He smells that fairy shit and sees the teddy bears. Then Andy's like, oh yeah, I had, you know, four little girls and this and that and other. So Bill in his head now, I know what he's thinking, y'all, because he's not already said he want to suck his blood. So now I'm sure what he's going to do is try to get them little fairy babies and get their blood because he wants to take the blood. And go and have it reproduced in order for them to be out in the sunlight. So he says to save them or whatever. When is he going to realize this Lilith bitch, I'm not here for her and a whole bunch of them. I want Lilith and that wolf bitch and Warlow to go somewhere and sit the fuck down. And if Sookie keep trying me, she will be on the motherfucking menu for that. On that menu with them, honey. Trust me. Because she's working me. Um, What else was it? <clears throat> Anything else that stuck out to me? Um, I don't know. Y'all, that's just what stuck out to me. So if I left some shit out, y'all know to put that shit in there. And I forgot to go over and ask my bloodies. Damn it. Okay. I was supposed to go to the group. Ugh. Okay. For my bloodies, do me this favor. Those that are watching that are a part of the Cup of Blood group. Please send your questions or whatever you want me to talk about on the, you know, the True Blood episode. Send it to my email, much love from KY at gmail.com. So I will have it. I'm so sorry. I was supposed to do that. Forgive me. I am so sorry. Because I'm just kind of impromptu and just jumping on and doing it. Because I feel like I'm offbeat. And I probably would have did it yesterday had I not watched motherfucking BET Awards. That bullshit. Anywho, so please leave that, you know. 
Right after it goes off, send it to me, you know, much love from ky at gmail.com, please. Please forgive me. I know I was supposed to do it this week. I forget. Forgive me. Send that, and that way I'll have it. I'll be able to go to the questions and see what it is that you all want me to talk about within, you know, add in here or whatever. So forgive me on that. So, y'all, that's pretty much what stuck out to me, honey. It is getting motherfucking deep. I think Pam is coming to herself. I don't know what Tara's doing, honey. It's just a whole bunch of shit going on. And, oh, I forgot to add in a part, y'all. Did y'all see where they had, they took the damn reverend, who is the damn vampire now, took him in to the little clinic or wherever they working on the vampires to see what their weakness are, and had his old wife come in there, and that damn, the red dress was cute, too. Talking about she's in politics, and he's like, help me, and all of this shit. I'm like... Really? So y'all brought that bitch back? Y'all couldn't think of nobody else after her scroungy ass was up in the motherfucking altar screwing Jason like I can't, girl. I know you didn't come in there judging nothing. If he'd have came in there a weird panther vampire, anything, honey, what could you say, girl? You was in the church cheating on your husband, so please don't do it. Anywho, y'all, so that's the just of it for me. It's getting good. I am feeling true blood right now. I am just feeling it. I am feeling it. And again, if it's something, and even if you're not in the cup of blood, it's something that you want me to talk about right after the show goes off, whatever your, you know, time zone is. I will try to, I try to make it where at least everybody's seen it, you know, according to the time zones. So, you know, you can always email me, much love from kygmail.com, you know, as well. And that goes for any shows that I'm talking about, you know, if you want to, you know, but definitely on True Blood, send them to me over there and I will try to, you know, address them, you know, the best I can and be sure to talk about it. That may help me to remember certain, you know, things or whatever, you know. So, yeah, I'm out of here, honey. I'm going to put these bloody bunnies up until the next time. Much love. Bye.